Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, Derek Branch of uh, Strike7Sports.com. You guys want to um, comment, post my uh, post some thoughts on the um, one-year anniversary of what occurred on this day last year. And that's the uh, Fury Wild 2 uh, trilogy that went down last year around the same time, on the same date, between uh, Deontay Wilder and um, Tyson Fury. For the WBC uh, heavyweight title um, fight, you know, I, I expected that at the time. I, I predicted, I thought uh, Wilder would have won the fight in like eight rounds. Wilder would have got it, eight round knockout. But on the night of the fight, man, is um, a whole different story. You know what I'm saying? Um, Wilder can't. I mean, um, Fury came in there ready to fight, man, and um, I think he knocked out. He uh, put Wilder down about two times in the fight. And it just went to town on Wilder. Um, just, but what is more, you know, intriguing about this whole situation is that uh, about what occurred after the fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the uh, gloves, the uh, spike, <laughs> the, the spike water by uh, Mark Breland, um, the. Uh, the gloves with the egg weights and it, it, you know Fury you know, the claim is that uh, Fury had an advantage over him over Wilder in this fight it just it goes on and on man and you got guys out here man that, that it's not letting it go man on the uh, the Fury side of, not Fury but on the, the Wilder side of the, the house of the fan base the Wilder fan base are not letting it go you know what I'm saying it's um you just see constant you, you see constant videos and Hey, we got you, and this happened, and this was he, this guy was a witness, and the, the glove they cut the lights off when they were doing the gloves, and why they didn't do this a certain way, and you know um, the costume was too heavy. Um, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff, man, that's just taking place after this fight, man. I just I never seen every you know, I haven't never I never seen. A, a fan base, you know, push for certain demands after their favorite fighter loses a fight like this never before. It wasn't like this when Tyson Laws, Holyfield, Riddick Bull, none of them names. But when Deontay Wilder loses, man, it's like everything. You know, it ain't fair. It's, like it's a controversy. The person cheated. And I'm just I'm just kind of, you know, it's interesting that this ain't a, um, a national story. You know, this is of the of what have of what uh, what occurred that night, you know, so it's not a national story. Um, you know, it went to court over some things. Um, the thing, the biggest, the biggest thing that the national media really, you know, you know, focus on in this fight is that uh, it's about the um, the costume. The costume was too heavy. You know, that's the really the biggest thing they get at on the national media stage. They don't talk about the other things such as. The spike water by uh, Mark, allegedly the spike water by Mark Breland. Um, the egg weights and the, and the gloves. Um, <laughs> they say all this other stuff that happened during that night, man. It's just Wilder, the time, the time that uh, Wilder, um, the claim that uh, Wilder broke camp early. Um, it's just a bunch of stuff, man, that it just really don't. Um, the national media don't even talk about man about this stuff because it's it's worthy of being a, a national story if these if these allegations are accurate, but um it's crazy man on um, that of what has um, went down in these past couple of months man we we only we in a year we're a year into this this situation and we still we got folks we got people out here still talking about what happened man what what wasn't fair and all and you know they may have a case you know um. As for me, um, I wish Don Deontay Wilder would have just um, run it back and get his get his uh, get his chance to get to fight Fury again. You know, um, it was supposed to be. I think the contract was um, set up to have a, a third fight. I just think should have just went ahead and um, re uh, activate his uh, rematch clause and fight him again. But I know things you know have changed. You know, with the pandemic and all and. We're probably not gonna get the biggest gate for that fight now, you know, with things. But hopefully, look like things are getting um, better as far as uh, numbers go. You know, the COVID numbers and the, uh, you know cases going down drastically. 
Um, hopefully, um, I think well, I wish Wilder could get this fight. We have we get the rematch against um, Tyson Fury and fight him because he he is who he say he is. Man, he should you know try to do try his best to run his to run it back against um, Tyson Fury. You know, if you want to redeem yourself, I think. He felt like he, all these things that were happening to you that night. You should try to. You should. You should fight him again, man. Um, and just accept the, your, your L. You know, um, go and fight him again. You know, um, Mark Breland. What happened to Mark Breland was unfortunate. And um, I did. I was here. This is a live stream not too long ago, and it was stating that um, according to Blue Blood Sports TV, shouts out to Blue Blood that um, <laughs> there's a contract that at, at any at at any time. That Tyson, that uh, F uh, not Fury, um, Wilder's team cannot throw in the towel at, at any time. Um, I apparently, Brillen broke that contract by throwing it in the towel, um, and Wilder lost the fight. Fight was over. Um, he was gonna lose anyway. You know, um, he was down. He had to be down on the cards by a lot. You know, he had to, he had to um, drastically come back to win that fight if he didn't throw that towel in. And he was shot, man. His legs was gone. Um, he looked exhausted. He busted his ear. You know, it, it was just Fury's night, man. And um, hopefully, I, I mean, he can have the rematch of that fight just to see, you know, Wilder attempt to uh, redeem himself, you know what I'm saying, because of what happened that night, you know. But um, each none of the fighters, none of those two fighters fought, have fought ever since that happened, you know. Um, don't know what the situation is with Fury. Um there was some here. I've been hearing some rumblings about him fighting uh, Anthony Joshua. That's still up in the air. And I don't know. If, I don't know how far they got in the um, case with um, the whole legal situation with Wilder. Um, Wilder, I'm hearing that uh, I heard it was Charles Martin was up on it. Um, who knows, man? Um, maybe he gets a, a tune-up fight. You know, a little test before he gets back. So he tries to talk up the um, Fury stuff again, but who knows, man. Um, some opponents for Wilder, man, um, I think would be uh, Andrew Ruiz would be a good test for him, you know. Um, Andrew Ruiz, Charles Martin, you know. Um, who else, man? Alexander Uzi, you know. That would be a good fight. I don't mind seeing that fight, you know what I'm saying, but. We just got to see, man. Um, just too many things up in the air right now. And it being, like I said before, man, it being real cautious of who they put in the ring, what, you know, put they could put in the ring and generate some um, some revenue off of as a, um, as a main event. With these um, arenas not been to allow uh, full crowds in them yet. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, man, um, that night I hope, uh, overall, man, I just think that I hope that, uh, Wilder can uh, redeem himself, fight Fury again, man, and just prove it all for once, man, that you can beat this guy in, in the fight. Yeah, if you show him that you knock him down, you can knock him down. You know, you, just, you already demonstrated that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would like to see it again, you know. Um, but I would like to see Joshua versus Fury. I would like to see Joshua versus uh, Wilder. Probably never going to see them for that fight. But anyways, man, give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel, man. This is on the, on the anniversary of uh, the Fury uh, Wilder fight, Fury Wilder 2 fight. What was your um, what were your biggest takeaways from that night when you um, saw Wilder get dominated like that? Were you shocked by it? Were you not shocked? Were you, were you shocked by it or were you not shocked? Were you not shocked by it? Um, or do you think it was just um, those factors that played a part in um, him losing, such as the... Uh, the allegedly spiked water, the gloves being, you know, awkward in the fight, flourish gloves being awkward, um, the costume being too heavy. Do you thought think that all those factors came into play that night? That's all I have for right now, man. Like, give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day, peace.